Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, good morning. Welcome back. I'm Candace. Watch out. She's in a mood today, y'all. I'm always in a mood. But not in a bad mood. A good mood. No, she's messing with me this morning. She's being mean. Oh, y'all believe that, right? <laughs> Who do you think's being mean over here? Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> that's spoken like someone that's guilty, I would say. Uh-huh. So, uh, in last episode, we bought... 600 and something crown royal, crown royal bag. bags well listed i single-handedly listed 400 items yesterday quite impressive how many did you do <laughs> <laughs> but no we got uh those are the one 1.75 liters in there um still got a bunch of other ones here that i'm gonna get listed today and then i can move on to some other stuff and a robe yep and a robe yep and uh candace what you working what you gonna work on you gonna polish off the monster high dolls today yep i got 13 listed yesterday and that's my total up at the top so far that's the uh monster 13 yeah. for 269 yeah that seems pretty good that yeah. seems like it seems like an average listing of 20 dollars a doll so far I still have like four up there plus all of these well, if you can hold your twenty dollar average, we'll be doing. We'll be sitting pretty on those. Yeah, we'll be sitting really pretty. That's good. Yeah. Um, what else we got going on today? That's it. We're gonna pull orders, list some stuff. Uh, we may go to our um our storage and bring some stuff back for listing. Yep. Yep. So if we do, we'll show y'all what we picked up. Which we're seriously focusing on right now. Um, I mean, we're we're probably gonna do garage sales too in the state sales maybe just until we get our death pile knocked out like that is something we got to get done this winter we want to be like death pile zero yeah by the end of this winter moving yeah. forward so we'll have more options open a lot of times that death pile seems like an anchor we want to do this but we have all this stuff you I know i want to go to garage sales and bring in some new inventory to list but i have all that other stuff i need right we need it we need to take care of that so, yeah. either list it toss it donate it whatever yeah. whatever the disposition is that's our goal we'll okay see. yep but right now uh got orders to pull decent little sales day so let's go ahead and get started with that all right first up we sold a bunch of these hero clicks candace ran an auction last week and she did a little bit of a pre-pack here actually a really really good pre-pack everything's bubbled and rolled up separated and it can't hurt the other stuff that's in there i just need to put a little more padding around it all box it up it's ready to go this auction sold for 70.98 plus shipping on top now to charlie we sold one of these um sold one of these guys here one of these little plano dry boxes Little camo dry boxes this sold for $15.99 plus ship Ho hoping these start selling for the christmas season all right next up we sold some dinosaurs on seven charlie i think i see them right here ah. yeah they're rubber banded together i don't know they almost they almost these are oh these are jurassic park dinosaurs they went to a, a game. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like game parts, basically. Usually you look on their hip right there and you can see a JP if it's a Jurassic yeah. Park and then you can see it right there. Yeah, those are not actually like action figures right. or parts to a game. The good ones you see like, didn't it see like JP5 on them or something like that? Or just JP, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, these guys sold for $14.99 plus shipping on top. An 8 Bravo, we sold the Scarecrow. Let's see. Eight Bravo. Scarecrow. Oh. He's pre-packed. Yeah. Candace was looking for a box. And I was like, I knew how to make a box for that. Boy, this is nice. I don't even have to pack this one, Candace. I know. I'm just doing all your job for you this morning. Uh, I made the box. <laughs> I taped it shut. I'm trying to think, what, what was your part in this one? I bubble wrapped all those. Oh, I know. No, you did good on that one, but you can't clean this one too much, I don't think. 
Anyway, it's already packed. $14.99 plus shipping. We paid $5 for that scarecrow. Yeah, it was... <laughs> It was crazy. It wasn't crazy. It was really dumb because it was in the wrong box. So we, we thought we were buying. We weren't. It was a scarecrow in the wrong scarecrow box. Sometimes we get uh, a little junk drunk when we're getting into stuff and just start bye bye bye. <laughs> Pocket thirty. We've been selling a bunch of this royal, or not royal, but um, Britain's. What do you call this? They're little diecast like soldiers. Metal yeah, soldiers. blues royals, royals foot guard. This little guy sold for nine ninety nine plus shipping on top. Made in England, and I'm guessing the passing of the queen must have something to do with this interest because we sold what one or two yesterday of yeah, these. They've been selling like every day. And then we have we sold this one, and then we have another one we're about to pull in a minute. Okay, we're going to four. Is that four Echo M four there? Is that the four echo box? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is? Okay. Yeah. So this, you have a spot on four echo for this, huh? Yeah, I do. I cleared out a spot. Gotcha. So we're pulling the first of hopefully many monster, it's monster high. Is that what these are called? Yeah. This is the first order of many. Here you go. Yeah, I gotta use that number. This monster M4. Candace is doing it like numbers on a box with sub numbers within the box. And I guess that looks right. They all have this weird colored skin. $12.99 plus shipping on top for this one though. Broke the ice. CC6 actually touched these, I think yesterday. Six. Sold some VHS tapes. We got these. I don't know. Is it all of them? Let me go back. I'll bring them all over there and see. We got... There's five of them. Five? All right. That is, that is these. We got these in a bag sale. Like in the garage portion of, a, uh, of an estate sale. Fill a bag kind of thing. Uh, sold those five for $19.99 plus shipping on top. And D and D jar, we sold a couple of GI Joe accessories. These US GI Joe. These are a couple of plastic ammo cans. We got eleven ninety nine plus ship for those. And then we have a nice little card sale here. This card, I found when I initially listed it, I found a comp for it. It was really just way out of line. It was an old comp or something. It just didn't make sense. Oh, I have two of those cards. This is like a really rare card in that in that set. The, the fact is, though, is that there's just not that many people that want it. Yeah, this is number 18 out of 25. You can see there. Superman. Uh, this card, we sold it for $67.50 plus shipping on top and yeah we have another one right here exactly like it and like i was saying the royal stuff or british stuff whatever you want to call it is doing quite well right now wasn't expecting that uh these three britain's soldiers sold for 17.99 plus shipping on top chest drawer we sold this chest piece right here of the Joker with his little pouting doll or whatever that is down there below him. Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. Yeah. This sold for $11.99 plus ship. So let me get this round packed. Uh, lots of good, easy to pack stuff here. I like that. Okay, I saved this one for last because I thought I was going to have to go to Ups. And I do not. It's actually... It's like maybe 50 cents more expensive to ship this via um, priority. So I'm going to do that. This, Candace, do you remember what we paid for that? I want to say it was like $10. That was at that weird estate sale thing. Remember? Yeah. I think it was 10. I'm just about I positive. 
All right, while we were out, we just swung by our storage unit and we grabbed some stuff. Yep, this is some throwback stuff. Yeah, some. if y'all been watching the channel for years, you may recognize a few of these things. I don't recognize some of it, but y'all yeah, might. Yeah, this is stuff he acquired from before I started helping him. Here's what happened. I was going, I was going along, I was working by myself at that time and I was buying garage sale and estate sale stuff. And that was pretty much the only thing I was listing and, and some what thrift store stuff too. Yeah. And then I had a pretty good back stock. It wasn't massive, massive, but it was pretty good. And I was chugging along just fine. And then one day I meet guy and at that and point everything changed and every that change and yeah is that what he says yeah i tried it i tried i, I tried everything. reselling with butter and it, and it changed everything it changed everything that's what he says it changed everything i met guy and it changed everything <laughs> a guy is like butter for your corn <laughs> <laughs> except guy is the butter for reselling <laughs> hmm <laughs> that's that's a good analogy sort of the roundabout way mm -hmm. but uh as soon as as soon as i met guy like i mean i bought a bunch of stuff from him and then like five days later i went to his garage sale and i bought a bunch of stuff five days later or so he called me up said hey man you want to buy some more i got some stuff in the storage unit and then i bought a bunch more and then like a week later he he had like 200 new in box models and then a couple weeks later he had like a three thousand like it, it was a like boom 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 and I shut the door on this unlisted stuff and I didn't revisit it for a long time because it just didn't make sense. Yeah. So now... It's like finding it all over again. Sort of, but the problem is, is that I'm not the same picker I was three years ago. Yeah. I, I would not buy this, most of this. Yeah, a lot of mistakes are being seen now that happened back then, as far as buys go. And, and keep in mind, like the stuff we're gonna show you, this is stuff I'm like, well, this is the cream of the crop. We're gonna be doing a lot of donating and a lot of throwing away and a lot of uh, selling at garage sales. And what's interesting to me is some of the stuff that back then was probably, where it was probably okay. It, it can be really good now so, uh, right markets change you know so we'll that's see. that's why i'm not real quick to disqualify everything because like candace said markets do change yeah. but let's take a look at what we got and we're going to do this every couple of days as we can like it's always uh, time is always such a fleeting commodity it seems like but two radios this little this is like a little short wave type radio tech sun it's real clean it is clean i have no idea if it works the battery compartment is not corroded and then also have this dx375 which is a similar kind of radio uh, but it's by radio shack and again the battery compartment in here is clean so i'll test those hopefully they work hooters got you another why'd you look at my shirt huh <laughs> why'd you look at my shirt <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. I did. I did. I admit because I said Hooters and I like looked at. Look, huh? I looked at some Hooters. I Got mean, you another whatnot tray, huh? Yeah. Well, hey, did we sell one or no? I don't know. <laughs> I don't. That is. I don't even know why I brought that back. We'll look it up. That's interesting. Uh, this is a little pile of is this I, PC software. I don't know what the heck all this is. Uh, looks like some strategy guides or something yeah. sometimes they're good sometimes they're not i brought them back just to look them up this was a game now this little strategy guide i remember was included with the game i loved this game empire earth i don't have time for that kind of stuff now but yeah that was fun uh we did bring back some figs some figurines I th we we found comps for these for like 15 dollars I didn't look these up. We sold this one recently. Yeah. Uh, Pokey and Mo. Candace found a. Uh, you found a comp I for that. I found a comp on this. Looks like about forty bucks. It's okay. a little musical thing. Yeah, we 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 got a lot of figurine stuff. Most of it's probably going to be donate or something. Oh, this is a look. This is a throwback right here. Y'all see this sticker? Mm -hmm. That's that time I tried Amazon. And uh, actually, I did sell about because I had like 
25 of, of this exact figure at one point and i sent i don't know 10 in or so i did sell a couple but uh I, so some, what happened to the stuff that didn't sell they sent it back to you yeah i just had it i had it all recalled i i mean yeah just wasn't my thing and a few star wars things these are action plate the packages are pretty nasty i'm probably gonna end up taking them out of the packaging and just sell them loose that's what i do a lot of times when the packaging can't be cleaned up you yeah know? that packaging is pretty bad yeah and then you have a, a, but a they're, look. they're like little place ups and then we do have a um, land speeder here and it's made to look like that right yeah and this is not an old one well it is actually old but it's not it's not a, 70s a, a, original it's uh 95 i think it is 1995 power, power of the force, the force. Yep. yeah and so. there was some pa carded uh, power of the force i left in there i'll probably get them eventually all right this is the rest of the stuff i got so this is a commodore 64 game on diskette the disc is in there the box is flat as you can see and there's no paperwork for that game have a movie monster <laughs> game manual for commodore 64 somebody might want that that game was pretty popular this is some kind of software for commodore and so is this this game is in here as well it's another flat box with a diskette inside this is um old radio shack new old stock yeah it's just, a bunch of connectors and stuff. Yeah, random stuff i think i'm just gonna put those all together in one lot got some video games yeah these are all in here that one kinda... this i don't think this is the right game this is not i've got ctr crash here bash. and crash bash here so let me see what kind of condition it's in it's not bad i might put it through for 30 seconds it's mostly just got some big fingerprints on it but uh yeah, I could sell that disc only. Transformers GT2. I did make sure all the discs were in these. Riven. God of War Ascension. I've sold that game a bunch of times. I think I've sold that one before. I think I've sold that one before. Soul Calibur 2. Dead or Alive Ultimate. That's this like a is, volleyball game. This Dead or Alive 1 and 2. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So, I'll look through these games. I, I don't know what these comp at yet, but... Typically, if they're like eight or nine dollars or higher, I'll just go ahead and list them. Uh, this is another, <laughs> this is a Commodore 64 software thing. CAD, CAD design. That's, that's old school CAD. Yeah, yeah, that comes off. It's kind of vacuum feel on this. And look, it's got the. Uh, look at that. Yeah, that's a little floppy. Yeah. And it's got like book and everything comes out of this this is what is this looks like computer discs do not bend mm. it must be a data disc that might be some top secret government stuff yeah i don't think so well you think they used to like design aircraft carriers with cad pack 128 they might have make copy of instruction and return both to me the planner for commodore 64 okay that's pretty cool yeah it's cool i just don't know if it has any value i mean it's not a game productivity yeah. software often nobody Some cares engineer about might want it did find a wired um xbox 360 controller which is good because i have that xbox 360 from storage unit the only thing i th i think i need a breakaway adapter here i think you may have one in your radio shack kit over there uh, no they don't, i don't think they sold that kind of stuff but they, yeah there's a little breakaway adapter that goes between here and the xbox i believe i think that's accurate anyway those are cool yeah some cool uh, batman actually that looks like batwoman converse yeah those are those are cool clean yeah. those soles up a little mm -hmm. the edge of the sole up a oh, little the bit. white part because the, this is the graphics are still good yeah it's not bad i mean they they have some wear but they're not horrible and they're very unique. I have a Deftones t-shirt. Yeah, we don't know if that's worth anything or not. And that, oh, you have that. This is um, some just Boy Scout patches. We'll probably just lot all these together. Yeah. And then a hat, I don't even know what it is. I had a... Cannon. I, I think I bought that, I think I participated, like I bought that like in a charity auction or something. Um, 
those this is some type of well it's a cannon hat obviously but it's it's a golf tournament and okay. then these are pro golfers that all sign like this right here is vj singh i believe okay. um i don't know who all these other people are but i do think there's a lot of like famous golfers on here okay and i don't know how to sell it i don't know how to market it i mean we don't have any coa or nothing right uh you know what that's john daly right there he's still popular okay and I'm, I don't know, the one I'm lo really looking for, I don't think is on here. Who, Tiger Woods? Yeah, I don't see Tiger on here. So, we'll see what we can get for that. But yeah, that's everything we uh, we got from our storage unit to list. And this, is, this should be pretty quick listers too. Nothing here is like really difficult. Well, my first little thing was a, a win. Like when I first tested this little Texan PL330, I do have the battery cover, by the way, right here. Uh, this guy, these two knobs here, tuning and volume, which are very important to operation of a radio, because <laughs> that determines like which station and how loud. <laughs> they didn't work at all. As a matter, well, they work occasionally, but sometimes they would go up instead of down and down instead of up, and sometimes nothing at all. So I opened this sucker up and I hit these two potentiometers with some deoxit and now it just works. It works perfectly. The tuning and the volume both work. No worries, no issues. So and it does it does sound good too. It's not gonna put it on the station right now. What do you have, Candace? I wanted to show y'all this um, Frankie Stein doll. I'm about to list her, but it, I'm going to do a little short video to include in the listing because it's just too cool not to show. But this is her recharge chamber. It's kind of creepy. Like, you have to strap her all in, close her up. And then this lights up, and watch what happens to her. Isn't that, that is, crazy? That is wild. That's electric. Yeah. Sta that's it's, static. It's creating too. static to make our hair Look fly. Look at that. That's, <laughs> I must admit, that is a cool toy. Yeah. It's really cool. I've never seen anything quite like that. <laughs> I mean, I have, like, look at that. That's amazing. Yeah. And then, it, like, once you dissipate, the static. once once yeah. you touch it, and it, did it shock you at all? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Then, it, once you, like, ground it, then it all just falls down. That is yeah. so cool. What do you get for something like that? I don't know, because I she's missing her shoes and her belt, but I feel like I have a video showing it working. I should be able to get like five more dollars. So What's it worth, though? I have no idea. I, I forgot already, because I've been missing. It must not been much. It's anywhere from 25 to 35. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's still cool, though. It's yeah. fun. Right. Did you know what that's what that thing was when you bought it? No, no. I, I just thought it was like some kind of little bed for her to sleep in or whatever, you know. That's crazy. Yep. All right, pretty solid listing day. Candace did nothing but uh, Monster High dolls right here. And then I did this, some of the stuff that I, we showed y'all that we brought from like Death Pile. We had a few little surprises in there. Both radios worked right here. Well, I had to, I did have to clean the contacts on the uh, potentiometer for this one. But the other radio worked fine without doing anything. The 50, oh, that's uh, some old Commodore 128 software. And then we had some video games and stuff. So pretty decent day, though. I think we're around 500 and something in listings. Pretty strong. Um, oh, I was, you know what? I guess I'll do this tomorrow. That's the rest of the Crown Royal bags. There's a bunch. I might get Candace to help. We need to tag team that tomorrow why because it's so boring it is really boring and it's just we do need to get we need to pull them all out and organize them so right how many we have left of each size right and that figure out our game plan that helps and when, then uh, we have all those specialty ones we need to list yeah it it helps when you have two people on something like that sometimes i didn't mind doing that that wasn't bad yesterday but yeah if you'll help me tomorrow with that yeah. I, i'll be done um yeah you just I got a couple a dolls left. these two i need to wash their hair so with the original older monster high dolls 
their hair had was applied like in with holes but they also applied with glue and the glue after a while starts seeping out of their head so this one like feels really sticky and greasy and this one too but i found a way that you can kind of like you know put them in to soak their heads to get that out of it so i'm going to try it out with these two um because it's really i mean it's gross only feeling. two of them are like that yeah that's not bad and then i had some set aside like i was hoping her shoe was in the bottom of the bag stuff like that and we do have one that is missing an arm uh oh but the, sometimes it doesn't matter people buy you can sometimes sell just the head or the accessories or sometimes you can sell the doll with a missing arm and people will piece it out. Um, but she's got a lot of accessories on her, so I may end up just doing that. People buy just the heads and they do custom dolls with them. Mm. They repaint them and stuff. So And her hair is in good shape and stuff. So okay. I'll make something off of her. No, you, no, Candace is killing it with these. Like, We'll have a total. We'll tell y'all a total probably tomorrow. But so far she's listed right at six hundred dollars worth what yeah. you've what you've listed is about right at six hundred dollars yeah, and you still up, have it'll end up being somewhere around seven to seven fifty i think that's pretty good for a fifty dollar buy yeah good use of time for too i think that's the list the average listing has probably been somewhere around twenty dollars or so yeah maybe a little more i had to drive i drove about 40 minutes round trip to get it and i had to wait on the woman like 10 minutes when i got there so that was about an hour of my time what, that's one of those things man like we one of the meetups we did yesterday i was shocked because we were supposed to meet a lady at walmart parking lot at like 1 at like 1 30 and we were running early so we got there at 1 20 she was already there i couldn't believe yeah, it that never happened i was shocked like n nine times out of ten if i'm meeting someone at like a neutral location like a walmart parking lot or something like that i mean it seems like nine times eight or nine times out of ten i i messaged them hey i'm here i'm in a blah 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 pickup truck out near the block whatever right telling them kind of where i'm at okay i'm leaving now I'm like what I like know. this is when we're supposed to be here and you're like well that woman that met me with the dolls was late because um for she picked Starbucks to meet at on a Saturday morning <laughs> oh. and she couldn't get in the parking lot, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah. So I had to wait on her so she could, before she could get in the parking lot. It took her like 10 minutes. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, all, you know, it's, Facebook Marketplace is great, but it's got, and I'm sure all y'all are familiar, like the messaging and all that you have to do to make when you're selling stuff. what did you do that for? <laughs> Kansas is making fun of me. I'm editing video. <laughs> Show them the clip. All right, I'll show them the they're clip. They're gonna see it. They're gonna this, see it before this video. This goes. already came out, but hang on, let me. I gotta. Candace is dying laughing. This is when we were showing the. Uh, uh, oh God, it's so stupid. <laughs> Can... Wait till y'all see this. It's great. I'm waiting for you to stop laughing. Okay. All right. You good? Mm -hmm. All right. See if you can hold it in. Try not to laugh. <laughs> okay all right first of all Kansas is laughing at me look at her <laughs> watch this other stuff yeah all the good storage auction stuff <laughs> <laughs> you lose because y'all didn't know i live i live with a muppet i'm married a muppet. it's like fozzy bear <laughs> Yeah, we have fun. We actually do have fun sometimes whenever uh, I'm editing video. I'm like, oh my God, look at this part. And Candace turns around, looks at it. So That's been the best one in a while. Yeah, that was a good one. Yep. So I'm going to finish doing my edit here, which y'all would have already seen this video. And Candace is, Candace is actually in the comments. She's helping out with YouTube a little bit. So if you have anything at all to say. To say or ask? To, no, don't. No, you I don't can't know. say just anything because I'll block you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> Candace is helping out with the channel a little bit as far as that goes because I told her I was like, man, I feel swamped. We've been doing like I've been enjoying doing the YouTube videos, but man, I feel horrible because I, I see, I see so many comments and I read most of them, but then next thing i know it's the next day and another video is going up and i never did the comments so i was like candace help yeah because I, I really want to you know make sure that y'all know that we're seeing all the comments 
So. Yeah, we, we may not have time to like reply to everyone, but we try to read every single well, one. We uh, And we don't even get that many, but no. like, and really with this storage unit stuff, like we really need to pay attention because a lot of y'all have a lot of experience and we have no clue what we're doing with that. Yeah, we've made a lot of mistakes already, so we're yeah. learning there. Yeah, we're over, we're over too. That uh, that storage auction video will be coming out next week. I have the footage, uh, so get ready. It's good. Right. <laughs> it's not really good. But <laughs> thanks a bunch for watching, y'all. We're gonna get out of here, and uh, we will see y'all again very soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.